Are the airports and overall flying experience in India really that much better than America? Lot of people have been claiming, I have been seeing on social media, that Indian airports and Indian airport infrastructure is probably the best in the world. People are taking a lot of pride in it, especially when Bangalore Terminal 2 opened. And no doubt, Indian airports are fantastic because most of them are actually brand new airports. And not just that, older airports are also being reconstructed and the beautification of the general area around the airport is going on. Airports by themselves are of not much value. It's an overall flying experience that needs to be compared between India and America. And that's what I will do. I will compare the overall flying experience in India versus America right from the moment you reach the airport and then you land and come out of the airport on the other side. I will compare infrastructure, amenities, security, food, everything. So fasten your seat belts, ensure your tray tables are up and your seats are in upright position as we take off on this fascinating journey. So I will be comparing the overall experience on 10 broad parameters and I will rank either India as one or America as one and then in the end we will compare both the countries in their flying experiences. American airports feel more free as you can enter the airport without any hassles. However, on the Indian side, you have to go through security check even for the entrance. If you are not the flying passenger, you cannot enter the airport. In Indian airports, to enter the airport, you need to show your flight and your ID. In American airports, there are no such restrictions. You can actually go inside pretty easily. So here, America gets one point and India scores zero. The second criteria is the trolleys that are available at the airports. In India, the trolleys are there for you to use for free of charge. However, in America, you have to pay. At Dallas Fort Worth Airport, where I live, you need to pay $6. So American airports are not providing you that same convenience for free of charge. So here, Indian airports get one point and American airports zero. So the score is level. 1-1 one, one each. The third criteria is going through security checks. While I really believe that checks at both the airports are quite stringent and strict, however, Indian airports feel more strict. Almost every single time I am forced to open up my bag and these security people go through all my belongings. That has happened to me in America as well, but that is quite rare. So when it comes to convenience through the airport, I think American airports are slightly better. So America gets one more point, India is zero, so US is leading 2-1. to one. The fourth criteria I have is overall ambience and beauty of the airports. And on this criteria, I think because Indian airports are much newer, they are designed well, they were designed recently enough, I think Indian airports are far better. Indian airports do not just have modern facilities, they are also equipped with quite some art. That art is quite missing in most of the American airports. American airports in my view are relatively bland and feel outdated and old-fashioned. So our airports used to be the best, now they're at the bottom of the room. So for this criteria, India gets one more point. The score is level again, USA 2, India 2 points. The fifth criteria I have is quality of food available at the airports. I really think that airports at both these countries are quite good, but I have slightly more preference for Indian airports because the variety of food that you get, the quality and quantity of food that you can get at an Indian airport at the cost is not so much available in American airports. More so because I'm vegetarian, Indian airports are far more vegetarian friendly as compared to American airports. But one thing that is really frustrating for me is that these restaurants and food stalls in American airports close quite early. Whereas in the case of India, they're open almost 24 seven or they're open quite late. But more so, even right outside the airport, you have dining options in India. There are restaurants right outside the airport, whereas that is not really available in the US. So here, India gets one more point and USA zero. So overall, the score is three for India, two for US. India is leading right now. The fifth criteria I have is quality of bathrooms or restrooms at the airports. This could be a surprise for many, but in my personal opinion, having seen the restrooms or bathrooms at Indian airports, I think they are slightly better than American airports. The reason I say that is because Indian airports are more modern, are quite new, and they are very well maintained because you have cleaners there at all times. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying American airport restrooms are any bad. They are really good but Indian airports have slight edge over American airports. So now the score in India's favor is one more point, whereas America gets zero on this. So overall, the balance is four points to India and two for US. India is leading right now. The seventh criteria I have is the ease with which you get onto the plane. In India, you do not always have this boarding bridge. Sometimes you need to get into a bus, then take the stairs and go into your flight. Whereas in America, almost every single time you have a boarding bridge. In fact, I have been in the US for 17 years and every single time I just had to walk and get into my plane. I never had to take stairs to get into the plane. 
in Indian airports, I think all international flights have that bridge facility, but not so much in the case of domestic airports. Whereas in the US, whether your flight is domestic or international, you always go through the bridge, which is much more convenient. So here, US gets one point, India gets zero. So overall score so far is three for US, four for India, India is still leading. Eighth criteria I have is the quality of airplane itself. See, I think Indian airplanes are much newer because all these airlines in India are growing so much. Most of the airplanes that are used in India are much newer, whereas in the US, most of the flights are quite old. Therefore, the flying experience, the comfort of the seats, the ambience within the flight, everything I think is slightly nicer in India. In the US, if you're in the middle seat, the chances of you getting sandwiched between two obese people is quite high. It has happened to me quite a few times. However, Indian seats feel a bit larger, a bit wider, and you're just less likely to face such issues in India. But more importantly, the quality of food that you get inside flights in India is also better than America. For example, I really like this airline called Vistara in India. I sincerely believe that any given day, the flying experience in Vistara economy seat is much better than first class seat in America in a domestic flight. So if you're inside the airplane and are taking a domestic flight, I really think that flying experience in India is better than America. So India gets one more point, totaling it to five points and USA gets zero and stands at three points. So India is leading five to three. The ninth criteria I have is the ease with which you retrieve your luggage in India versus America. As per my experience, when you land in India, it takes quite a while for your luggage to get to you. However, in America, it tends to be a bit faster. In fact, much faster than in India. Well, this may not be true for all airports, but generally that has been my experience. I think American airports are better at getting your luggage to you faster. Therefore, America gets one point, India gets zero on this criteria. The balance is four for US and five for India. India is leading by just one point. And the 10th and final criteria I have is the experience of taking international flights from India versus US. The flights that take off from the US and when they land in the US, that timing I think is better in America. Almost every single time when you fly outside of US, most of your flights are in the evenings, which is always very convenient. And when you land back, you again land in the evening times for the most part. There are some flights that land in the afternoon or in the morning, which is equally good. However, in the case of India, most of the international flights take off after midnight, between 12 to 5 a.m., which is quite inconvenient. You have to stay awake for that long. You have to go through all these issues. You have to go through all these processes so late in night. And then when you also land back in India, your flights land at two or three or four in the morning, which is quite of an awkward time, which is uh, quite painful to be honest. This is an important criteria in my view because when you're taking off from the US on an international flight, you reach the airport in the evening, you have your dinner in the flight at the night time and then you go to sleep. Whereas when you take off from India, you're taking off three in the morning, four in the morning, and that really messes up with your schedule. Therefore, when it comes to the experience of taking international flights, I think American airports and American flying experience is better, India not so much. So America gets one more point and the score is now balanced five to five between both countries. So this was my comparison of flying experience in India versus America. Tell me what you think. Have I missed on some criteria? Are there other things that are important to you that I did not include in my video? Write in your comments. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind and God bless America.